All right, here we go. I'm going to talk about recessive traits with iguanas right now. This one is going out to a, someone asked a question in my last video about the difference, what, it, what was het and what was, you know, subspecies as blue. First, you know, blue is not a subspecies. And, you know, thank you for the question. That's a Mason B. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your inquiry about the iguanas and hopefully I, I help you out with this. But all these iguanas that I have, the different color morphs, they're not subspecies of each other. They're all iguana iguana. So they're all the same iguana. We're just breeding different color forms. So right here I have a Colombian albino. And this is a visual. Excuse me, I'm trying to film, okay, I don't know, you got scared, they scared you. Alright, so again, if we took that uh, albino visual and bred it to a normal green, all the babies would come out green, but they would carry one of the two genes needed to make albino, but they're all green, so we say it's het albino. So if you, two, if you took two het albinos, I believe it's 50% chance that you'll have about half the clutch will be albino because uh, the albino trait, the het, each one being het, would blend and about half of the clutch would be albino. Now if you took a visual albino and brought it to 100% het albino, about 75% of the clutch would be albino. And so, but if I took 100% het albino and bred it to a normal green, then I'd have 50% het albino, meaning that each one has a 50% chance of being green, I mean albino. And then if I did 50%, you know, the, to a normal green, then 25, you'd water it down. So I've kind of a situation here where I had a 100% het male and I bred it to a blue normal, a uh, blue, and so now, and to red, so all mine, all the uh, offspring I have, this is actually 50% het for albino and blue, meaning that each one has a 50%. Now I don't know if they're, if they both end up being het, the, the chances are a lot extreme if they're double het for the blue and albino. So, but he's 50%, what we would say, 50% het, 50% uh, 50 het albino, 50% het blue. So they're not subspecies, uh, really, at, at all. You know, the subspecies, if you start lesser antelia iguanas and some other iguanas that they've been separated for millions of years, you know, they'll put them in subspecies categories. And if you were to breed, some of them are breedable, but those would be hybrids. But here, just, you know, he looks normal green, but he has 50% hat albino and 50% hat blue. And because the father was 100% hat blue and 100% 100% hat blue, 100% hat albino. I know it gets confusing and, you know, one of the best things I'm going to help you out if you look up Pudnet Square. This monk back in the day screwing around with some vegetation and flowers and peas and stuff and he was able to do ratios on recessive co-dominant dominant traits. So remember that Pudnet Square. So if you look that up, it'll kind of help all of this make a little bit more sense. I will show you a blue. He's really dark, she's really dark. This is one that I discovered that was blue, the last video, blue female. 
can see she's really dark right now. She's scared. And they'll change throughout their life and their mood. So what happened with this one was my I bred with a, a blue female, a blue female to what I thought was 100% albino, which should have gave me all green babies with heads. Well, I ended up having a blue baby with dark eyes. Like I said, she's really dark right now and she's a little upset. I'll calm down. So that proved that the male is 100% het blue also. He carries the blue gene, which was awesome. I mean, that was unexpected. So he was het for blue. She was a visual blue, and they made a blue baby. And this het just means that they only carry one of a specific gene. So if you had het hypos, um, and only, you know, it only goes for recessive traits, there's not a het red. Someone's trying to say there's het reds for super reds, but I mean, it's not reds for the most part, as far as we can tell, is a co dominant trait. Yeah, I'm still working with that. It, it's, it's proven to be a little odd. It, it, it's not real cut and dry yet for me. So I'll show more videos on the co dominant and working with red and when we mix it. But this guy is definitely blue with dark eyes, which came from the father. But the dark eyes, again, I had another video. They didn't pass on to any of the other ones. So here we have, so he actually had a 75% chance to be a visual blue. And I nailed it. So that's all it is, is that when you hear het, it's just they're carrying half the genes needed. They have one gene, het albino. That's my really big blue female. Who wants to, you wanna say hi? So she's really light in color right now. I believe she's grab it. She does not want to be messed with right now. Because she's grab it. Say hello. Now this is the mother to the one I just showed you. She's a visual blue, uh, azanthic. True, true azanthic. Nice blues on her belly. She has a lot of pattern going on. A little bit more pattern than you see some of the other iguanas. So she's a little different. She does have a little damage to her nose. When I got her, she was very skittish. She was about two years old when I got her. But I saw her and I saw the genes in her and I just had to have her. I bred her to the, uh, if you guys remember Casanova. And that's how we ended up with the blue one. So hopefully this year she has a lot more blue, as you can tell. She's she's pretty fat, and she's eating a good little bit. I'm palpitating, but I don't feel anything. The iguana eggs are really soft when they're inside the uh, female, so it's hard to tell. But uh, she's being a butt right now. Normally she's not as bad, and I can handle her and move her around. She just uh, she wants nothing to do with her mate, and she wants nothing to do with me. And so here we go. But she has both genes so she's homozygous for blue meaning she's carrying both the genes but she'll only pass on one of those genes to the offspring they'll need the father to have the gene to pass it on she's, she's like <sighs> sorry i wasn't meaning that i was doing an example for the people on tv she's like what is that but again if you see her pattern it's very scattery i want to be able to work with that and different times she's she's just not in a good mood right now. She's like, what is that? What's going on there? So look how blue that is. And then the rest of her is kind of a silver and brown. A truly azantic. Let's put her back before she gets really upset. Anyway, let me see. You can see how fat she is. I believe she's gravid. It's about the same time she became gravid last year. And so, we'll put her back. So, 
So, Mason B, hopefully that helps you out a little bit. That's about as lame as it gets because I'm no scientist or biologist. I did study it many moons ago when I was in college. And it's just a matter of what HET is. It's you got one of a gene that is going to be expressed later on. Uh, keep asking those questions. Keep watching my channel. Please subscribe, like, share if you, you know, and ask more questions because then that gives me something to, to show instead of just me walking around looking at iguanas. Maybe I can help explain some things. Alright, so thank y'all very much. Catch you later.